So it's time to expose another clout chaser. And this time we're going to do it with receipts. Prince Sports, let's get into it. All right. Y'all know who Isaiah Zeke Thomas is, all right? The guy is um, arguably considered one of the greatest point guards of all time. And rightfully so. He deserves that respect. But he's been clout chasing on social media for quite some time now. Liking any dang Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Now, Kareem's the greatest basketball player you have ever seen. You have never seen a basketball player like Kareem. But where was Kareem in this conversation? Not the flashy things, it's the little simple things that he does. It's his fundamental base combined with his skill base that makes him the greatest player to ever play. And you say that without hesitation. Without hesitation. You weren't always convinced. There was a point maybe midway through his career where you wouldn't have given him that honor, but eventually he won you over, right? Well, when, you, when you're playing against him, you know you're not going to say that because you got to come out and compete against him. But now sitting over here in the mic and being out of the game for three or four years and, watch, and watching what he's done over the last couple of years, without question, this guy's the greatest that I've ever seen play. Okay, maybe you have a short-term memory, right? Maybe you forget that Kareem existed because that's the guy you say, the GOAT. So how come you're not talking about him? But let's give you a second chance. Player, was it Bird? Was it Magic? Was it Jordan? My response is always Jordan was the best, Magic was the smartest, and Bird was the toughest. I have to ask. Okay, so you mean to tell me Kareem wasn't playing when Michael Jordan was playing in his later years in the 90s and early 2000s. So you went the whole 90s, 2000s, mid 2000s, saying Michael Jordan was the greatest player to play basketball. But all of a sudden now, Kareem's the greatest basketball player? So when did Kareem actually play? Was it at the same time when LeBron was playing, like 2016, 2015? It's, it's kind of funny. I don't remember seeing Kareem play those times, you know. I thought if Kareem's the GOAT for you, shouldn't you have been saying that back in, I don't know, 1998, uh, 2000, 2008, 2018? I mean, now all of a sudden he's the greatest basketball player? So he became the greatest basketball player of all time in 2017. Man, that's a, that's a long time. You know, he must have been playing basketball for, what, 40 years? Because you say you never seen no player like Michael Jordan before. But then you say you never seen no player like Kareem before. I'm kind of confused here, Isaiah Thomas. It sounds like you're kelp chasing. You know, I got some guys on YouTube that actually make more sense than you. They actually get receipts and valid points to why they say certain things. And they never go back on their word. But you, you sound like a very confused man, my brother. You know, you know what they say about somebody that constantly switches their story. That means that's somebody full of bullshit. And Zaya Thomas, I think you're full of bullshit. You know, it's coming out your mouth. You know, you can't even breathe. It's shit everywhere. That's your problem, bro. You know, clout chasing like a motherfucker. Now, I'm not going to go into LeBron with this because LeBron wasn't playing in Jordan's era. So, if you think LeBron's better than Michael Jordan, because, you know, LeBron kid did came later. That's another topic for another day. But let's talk about Kareem. The GOAT. You know. Hmm. He must have been playing basketball for like 40 years. Because that means he wasn't playing after Michael Jordan was still playing in 1998. And all these other years that you was on your knees praising Michael Jordan. And then you said when you was competing against Michael Jordan, you know he was the best, but you didn't admit it. Hmm. Hmm. You mentioned Bird, Magic, and Jordan, and you said Jordan was the best. Hmm. But I bet you would change your story now, right? Maybe it's because Jordan came out with the last dance and hurt your little feelings. Same thing with Scottie Pippen, a big baby in his feelings. It's not Michael Jordan's fault you were softer than cotton tissue. That's your fucking issue, dog. You mentally weak. And Isaiah Thomas... You are a troll and a cop chaser. That's why nobody takes your word serious. And that's why we know bullshit when we see it. This is why a lot of people don't 
really care about the things Isaiah Thomas says when it pertains to basketball, especially GOAT talk. You kind of canceled yourself. Man, Prince Sports out. Peace.